BRICS's role in Ethiopia, and Africa's global agenda. Hello and welcome, I'm Jalini Tesway, and this is News Analytica. Last week, Ethiopia's Institute of Foreign Affairs hosted a BRICS academic forum in Addis Ababa, welcoming a delegation from the BRICS Expert Council of Russia. During the forum, Victoria Panova, head of the BRICS Expert Council, emphasized that BRICS serves as a platform for global cooperation rather than an anti-Western coalition. Despite this inclusive approach, the bloc's powerhouse members, Russia and China, are engaged in a visible competition with the Western world, particularly the United States, for influence over the African continent. This dynamics set the stage for today's episode where we will delve into the risks and opportunities presented by the BRICS plus Alliance for Ethiopia and Africa as a whole. Ethiopia's Institute of Foreign Affairs hosted a BRICS academic forum in Addis Ababa last week, welcoming a delegation from BRICS Expert Council of Russia, Victoria Panova, head of the BRICS Expert Council, took the center stage during the forum, emphasizing BRICS's pivotal role as a platform for global cooperation. Panova's message underscored the inclusive nature of BRICS, positioning it not as an anti-Western coalition, but rather as a collaborative endeavor aimed at fostering peace and stability worldwide. However, beneath this diplomatic veneer lies a nuanced reality. The two giants within the BRICS alliance, Russia and China, find themselves locked in a strategic competition with the Western world, notably led by the United States in dominance for Africa. This geopolitical tug of war sets the stage for a multifaceted exploration of the implications of the BRICS plus alliance for Ethiopia and the broader African continent. Russia and China, the driving forces behind the BRICS alliance, are actively seeking to expand their influence across the African continent. Their strategic maneuvers, often viewed through the lens of great power rivalry, present both opportunities and challenges for Ethiopia and Africa as a whole. Ethiopia finds itself in the middle of these competing interests. On one hand, closer ties with BRICS members could offer Ethiopia access to much needed resources, investment, opportunities and technological advancement, facilitating its ambitious development agenda. Yet, aligning too closely with the BRICS bloc may also expose Ethiopia to geopolitical tensions and power struggles, potentially complicating its relationship with traditional Western partners. Moreover, Questions linger about the extent to which BRICS can deliver on its promises of equitable development and shared prosperity, particularly for African nations like Ethiopia. Over the past decade, the BRICS group has transformed into a strategic entity committed to systemic reforms, challenging the dominance of Western-led institutions. Developing nations have long voiced grievances about the unequal distribution of global wealth, highlighting how the current financial architecture disproportionately benefits wealthy nations at the expense of the Global South. A study published last week by the World Inequality Database related the stark reality the bottom 80% of humanity subsidized the wealthiest 20% to the tune of $660 billion annually. Developing nations, burdened by deficits in energy and food, borrow and currencies controlled by the Global North, perpetrating a cycle of dependency and unequal wealth distribution. The U.S. is the biggest winner, with the Eurozone being a close second, draining $160 billion annually from the poor. Every year, developing nations forego 2-3% to of their GDP on interest payments, some better spent on education, health and the environment. This glaring imbalance has been a driving force behind the growing interest in the BRICS bloc. Over 40 countries applied for membership last year. As of 2024, the BRICS bloc expanded to include new members, Ethiopia, Egypt, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates. Ethiopia and Egypt, recent full members, highlight the growing appeal of BRICS among African nations. The BRICS bloc is set to expand again in 2024. More African countries are set to join the alliance, according to reports. Multiple African countries, including Nigeria, Democratic Republic of Congo, and Algeria have already revealed their interests in the bloc. This expanding interest underscores BRICS's potential to reshape global dynamics and provide a viable alternative to traditional Western-dominated structures. By challenging Western hegemony and advocating for systemic reforms, 
BRICS offers African countries like Ethiopia an alternative path to development and self-determination. But while BRICS has diverged from the Western-led system, questions remain about its ability to effectively leverage its members' resources and realize its ambition of representing the global South. That is all for today. Thank you for watching. Make sure to join us again tomorrow for another edition of News Analytica.